Hi, I'm Fred Sokolow, and this is the third in a series of three ukulele lessons. We're going to learn new tunes, uh, new movable chords, and hopefully some theory about how to find chords around the fretboard, some new picking ideas, and all kinds of good stuff. So we'll start with tuning up, of course. Here's your fourth string, your G, your third string, C. Second string E, and your first string A. So you've got your C6 chord, your C6 tuning. And our first tune will be a Willie Nelson standard called Crazy. Crazy, crazy for feeling so lonely. Crazy for feeling so blue I knew that you loved me as long as you wanted Then someday leave me for somebody new Why should I let myself worry? Wondering what in the world did I do? I'm crazy for thinking that my love could hold you. Crazy for crying, crazy for trying, and crazy for loving you. I'm crazy for thinking my love could hold you. I'm crazy for crying, crazy for trying, and I'm crazy for loving you. Well, Willie Nelson's Crazy was a huge hit for Patsy Cline back in the day when Willie was successful as a writer but uh, couldn't get arrested as a performer. Um, but he had, this was a huge hit and is supposedly, according to the Guinness Book of World Records, is the most played on jukeboxes song of all time, that is Patsy Cline's version of Crazy. And it was a hit in country music, but you know the song is really like a 30s or 40s Torch song, isn't it? You could hear Billie Holiday singing it. Um, so it has the same kind of chord changes as a lot of those uh, old songs from the 30s and 40s. So let's start out by just looking at the at the chord changes. I was in the key of C. So it goes crazy and go, walks. There's a walk down to the to the uh, A seventh chord, but instead of just going right to A seventh. You play this C, a B flat shaped C, and walk it down to the A7. Crazy for feeling so lonely to D minor. Back to the A7 to D minor. It goes back and forth a bunch. And then to the G7. Crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. And I went up to the diminished chord up here. This is a C to a C sharp or diminished. And then you can go to a either to the D minor there or the D minor here, and then the G7, and then just repeats. I knew that, that same walk down, 
and to and then the back and forth between the D minor and the A7. Then some days G7, leave me for somebody new. So this is an AABA type of song, meaning you have that eight bar A phrase, and then you repeat the A phrase, and then you do the, the bridge, the eight bar bridge, and then go back and do the first phrase, eight bar phrase again. So when you do this repeat of the eight bar phrase, it ends a little differently because you're going into the bridge. It goes, leave me for somebody new, to the D minor, to the C diminished, to the C. And then that takes you, that little walk up, takes you to the bridge, which starts on the four chord, the F. Worry, why should I let my, let myself, back to the C diminished, let myself worry. We've used this diminished chord before, but just to review the shape, it's four and two in one fret and three and one in the next fret. Should I worry? And then uh, it goes to the two chord from the C to the D7, but uh, I, you can back it up like that. So I played this kind of C and backed it up to the B, C, C sharp, and then D7. Remember that seventh shape where you bar across all the strings and then do this on the third string. Wondering, and then the same chord but down here in the first position. What in the world did I do to a G7? And at the end of that long held out note, I added the third string up one fret higher, which makes your D7th into a D7th plus, which means a D7th augmented, a raised fifth. This is the fifth note and in the scale, and that, that's the raised fifth. Then, you, then you're back to the, uh, to the A part, but there's a little variation. His A part is different uh, than the first eight bars. Actually, it, goes, uh, it starts out the same. Crazy, with that same walk down, or thinking that my love, and the same little back and forth between the, the uh, D minor and the A seventh. And then you have this little series of chords. It goes F, E minor, D minor, a seventh, and then D minor, G seventh, C, and and that's the chord progression. Uh, when when we got all the way around the cycle, instead of playing the whole tune instrumentally, I just did a little instrumental ad lib on the um, on the bridge, and then came out and sang the last A part. So. Um, if you wanted to do a, a literal, you know, melodic chord melody thing for the bridge, it would be something like this. So that's... Um, you're on the F chord, but you add this melody note. And mel notes from the chord, and then the diminished chord, and walk down the first string, and back to the C. And then I did that walk up that we were doing before, and then come back to the first position, D seventh. So that's the D seventh and the other D seventh, because the melody is like that. Sort of spelling out the chord there. Three, two, one. Open first string. I'm crazy, and then just repeats the uh, you know the final A part with that walk down. So let's let's do the um, let's do the whole chord progression kind of slowly and the chord melody thing the whole bit, just slowing it down. Oh, by the way, there was a little intro that you can do that kind of mimics the intro, that the, the thing that the piano player played on the classic recording of Crazy. So I, see. And then, you're, and then you've got the tune. So we're going C and walk down uh, to the A7. between those two chords to D, uh, G seventh crazy do, 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 C C sharp diminished either the D 
minor here or here, and then the G7, and repeat C, and then walk down to A7, and then D minor, A7, and back and forth, G7. to an A chord, A7, I'm sorry, D7, and then D7 down here, and, and then G7, and it stays there a long time. At the very end of it, you add that augmented fifth, I'm crazy, and the walk down, or thinking, A7, D minor, back and forth, and then you've got that long, that that ending is this F, E minor, D minor, A seventh, D minor, G seven, C, and then we've got the bridge. It's an E minor, D minor, A seventh, and finally crazy for G seventh, C. And you go, and I did that little ending that. And then there's that ninth chord again. There you go. 